Deadly Mississippi tornado brings devastation to U.S. state. At least 26 people have died in Mississippi and Alabama after a tornado tore through the southern U.S. states. Search and rescue efforts are continuing, and the Mississippi state government has declared a state of emergency. In rolling fork, crushed cars, bricks and glass litter the streets, the town has been almost entirely wiped out. One resident told the BBC he was lucky to survive after seeking shelter in his bathtub. Approaching the neighborhood in western Sharkey County, there is little indication of anything unusual. The lush farmland that surrounds it is completely untouched, the trees aren't even bent out of shape by wind. Then suddenly you see the houses that were in the tornado's path. They have been totally obliterated. Homes where family and friends had gathered less than 24 hours before, ready for the weekend, have been reduced to rubble. Timber frames have been snapped into pieces. There are upturned washing machines, but it is impossible to identify anything that might have been a kitchen. Amongst the rubble, there are vehicles that have been tossed around like toys. There is the occasional, children's toy and other signs of the lives that were lived here just hours earlier. The tornado hit in the middle of the night, people had been sleeping, they had not heard the alerts. For many the first indication that something terrible was happening was the noise. Francisco McKnight told the BBC it was a miracle that he is alive. The only warning he had was the sound, he said, he had never heard anything like the noise of the wind on Friday night and never wants to again. He took one look outside and then ran into his bathroom and got into the bathtub. He said that was what saved him. The only part of his home that is still standing are parts of two of the bathroom walls. The tornado lasted just five to ten minutes he said, and he sat in the tub as the rest of his home was ripped, away. For now, he's staying in one of the shelters that have been set up in the area. He does not know what he will do next, but he says somehow he will rebuild his life. Mississippi State Governor Tate Reeves visited Silver City and Winona on Saturday to meet affected residents who had been hit by the tornado's fury. Sharing an update on Twitter. Mr. Reeves described the situation as a tragedy, writing, We are blessed with brave, capable responders and loving neighbors. Please continue to pray. The search and rescue efforts will continue in Mississippi as more storms are predicted to hit parts of Alabama and Georgia early on Sunday and potentially bring large hail. U.S. President Joe Biden also offered his support for the storm-affected region. He described the images coming out of Mississippi as heartbreaking and said the federal government would do everything we can to help. Thank you for watching my video, for more videos stay connected and must subscribe my channel.